Hello, thank you so much for stopping in to watch this video on land school. I hope that this helps you out in your land school journey. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to create class lists. So there's going to be multiple ways to create class lists, and I'm going to try to talk about all of them. So the first thing we want to get to is the manage class lists feature. So if you have already um, customized your toolbar, you might see class lists up here. If not, you can go up to administer, one-to-one, -one, and manage class lists. So this is where you're gonna initially create your class lists. So first you need to decide, are you using the login name, the machine name, or the student name from Active Directory? I really like using the login name so that if a student logs into the, a different computer, you're not tied to a specific computer. I would say if you're using this in a um, computer lab or something where you always know which computer machine names are there, that might be good for you. Otherwise, login name might be good, especially if the students are using uh, like a Bring your own, uh, they have one-to-one -one and they're bringing their computers with them. This is always really great. And then if they log into a different computer that's not normally theirs, it'll still work because you're using their login name. So now there are three different ways that you can add in your students. One, if you are in the same building as the students are, you can click Browse for Students. What will happen here is that a list of all the students connected to the Wi-Fi in your building will show up here. I don't have any students connected right now, um, so I'm not seeing any of them, but I can just kind of click and choose the ones that I want. Option number two, and actually option number three, both the next two options require you to know the student's login name. So one way is to just type in the student's login name. So for example, you know, J user, if that's the student's login name, and then you click add student. And then, you know, maybe uh, I know that we use the uh, symbol, the naming convention of first initial, last name, and then um, the month that they were born. I, I don't know, whatever your school uses as their login name. And you can just click and add in the whatever, actually that wouldn't work, whatever the username is of the student. And you can go ahead and do all that. If you can easily export this information from a student management uh, system, you can also import these. If you can save this as a CSV file, you can then import the students by uploading the CSV file that's there. So right here, I have a CSV file that I made so I can easily import my students and then it'll pre-populate all the students' names in there. So once you are done, you want to save your list. So you're going to click on Save, and then you're going to find a spot to save your list. You're gonna give it a name, and then you're gonna click Save. The ideal thing is to save all your lists in the same folder so that when you go to open them, Land School knows where they are. So I hope this has been helpful in showing you how to add in your students via browsing for them, importing them, or adding them in manually. If there's a question you have about that, please let me know in the comments below and let me know what I can do to make this video better for you. If you're looking for other Land School tutorials, please click on the card above that will bring you to my playlist. It'll also be linked in the description below. Thank you so much and have a great day.